Hey friends, Cloudbart here. Time for another one minute identity and access management lesson. Previously, you may have heard me talk about using wildcards in our identity and access management statements to create large swaths of allow statements and then surgically use the deny statements to punch holes through that allow, uh, blocking specific services or actions. Now this works really well because allow grants and then deny blocks and those denies can never be overridden. But if we flip it around the other way where I've used deny with wildcards and then I wanna allow specific services back through, well, once you do the math, it means a whole lot of fancy typing and calculating in the background. So what we need is a way to allow specific services to be excluded from a deny statement. Fortunately, AWS thought of this problem as well, and this is exactly where the not action operation in a statement comes into play. Let's check it out. Okay, so over here in my text editor, I've got a sample piece of a policy that I was working on earlier where I ran into exactly this sort of scenario. I wanted to allow a few specific types of services, and then I wanted to use a very far-reaching deny statement in here to block any other requests that might come in outside of a specific region. So pretty useful logic. I wanted to limit things to just the one region there, but the problem is that using a deny with the action piece here where that is a wild card, that created some issues for me because certain global things like what identity and access management does were getting blocked by this deny and that was causing me trouble. So I wanna create the same logic but exclude identity and access management from the regional restriction. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy all of this, paste it on over here and we're gonna write a new version of the policy and just update the way the deny statement section works. Instead of just using deny with the action in it, we're gonna switch this to not action. And then over here, instead of the wild card, I'm gonna put in the excluded uh, action or service in this case that I wanted to exclude. And that would be IAM, any of the identity and access management requests. And so now, just by making that one particular change, the deny logic still applies to requests that come in outside of US West 2, but identity and access management is excluded from that, allowing certain types of global operations. Now, keep in mind here, friends, that there are some further details that you could drive in to tighten this up even farther. But for now, let's just settle by remembering that not action is a useful way of switching around the allow deny logic so that we can create special types of exclusions, which we'll be using a lot more in future identity and access management lessons. See you next time. <laughs>